This is the Hoka One One Carbon X, and this is Hoka's answer to the Nike Vaporfly 4% and their first attempt at a carbon plated shoe. So you've got the Pro Fly X outsole, which is the super soft cushion that is their first layer of foam, and then through the middle, you've got the carbon plate, which runs almost the entire length of the shoe. Hoke is known for having a rocker, but this one is even more so because of that carbon plate. Ideally, the shoe was designed to run a marathon or an ultra. It was actually designed with Jim Walmsley's uh, 50 mile and 100K world record attempts in mind, and the 50 mile was successful, so there's certainly something to the Hoka madness. The upper is pretty light, not quite as light as some of the other shoes we've seen. It's got a knit, but it doesn't feel like a traditional knit. It's a little bit more reinforced. It's got a pretty significant collar that'll keep from any chafing, and it's also got a little bit of a heel counter, but not much. The shoe does fit a little bit wide, as is traditional with Hoka, and it also fits a little bit big. So if you're considering a pair, I would even suggest maybe half a size down. The outsole is fairly minimal. There's not too much tread, but the truth is you wouldn't be wearing this shoe on a particular terrible day or on the trails anyway, so you will get exactly what you need from the outsole. The upper of the shoe also has an attached tongue so that that's not gonna move around while you're racing. It's connected just underneath the insole with a little bit of fabric. This shoe could easily be worn without socks or with, as it is just one single layer of mesh. And if you're buying the shoe, you're looking for light, so why not keep it even lighter?